I've been trying to get to St Kilda for three years now and I've actually made it, I can't believe it. Um, this place is incredible. It is um, an island 40 miles past the Isle of Harris, which is the Isle of Harris is, on the, is basically in the Outer Hebrides of Scotland. And then you go 40 more very, very choppy miles past, past there. We just came on, um, on this boat and it was at the, the, the weather was at the maximum that they normally go in. Um, so we were literally just thrown everywhere, but it was completely worth it because this place is incredible. It, um, is an island that was inhabited for 4,000 years continually until 1930 when the residents decided to abandon the island because it was just too difficult to live on. And, you know, I've only been here for half an hour and already I can just... <laughs> I've got so much respect for them for even trying. Um, the derelict houses are still here and there are plaques that tell you who lived in that house and, you know, when they lived there. It's quite incredible, really. Just the story of this place is amazing. Um, so I'm literally just getting around it as fast as I can. I've got about three and a half hours here or so, um, and then uh, back onto the boat. Um, this is the last trip of the year that they're, um, they're doing because the weather from now on just gets too difficult. Um, and I can understand that after, <laughs> after the journey we've just had. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna climb up the stack behind me, the big kind of hill behind me and see if I can see the, the sea stack on the other side. But I've just been taking some time to, to kind of I don't know, just experience this place because this, this was once a community. It was once a home. It was, you know, people grew up here, lived their lives here. And we're just basically on a vol an old volcano, an extinct volcano from thousands of years ago, probably millions of years ago. And here we are just, you know, sat on top of, on top of what's left of it. And it was once someone's home. It's just amazing. When, um, just gonna get over these rocks. <laughs> when you walk through here, this is basically walking through someone's house, an area where people spend time playing as children. You know, you have to imagine that this was a place of, of a community, of families. You know, you have to really get your head around. This is not just an island that we now come to see and, you know, is a tourist attraction, but this was once a home, a house, a, a village, people lived here. People spent time, you know, learning schooling here and fishing and having family. I mean, look at all these houses. I'm gonna show you some now. Just down there, look, that was a community. You can imagine just how, you know, kids would have run through here, playing in this kind of place. Look at these little, kind of, not sure even what to call them. believe I'm finally here. I've tried so many times to get to this place and uh, I have driven 15 hours um, to, to Sky to get the boat and then it's been cancelled at the last minute because of uh, weather issues and oh I'm finally here. It's so worth it and you know what it's exactly the weather that I'd hoped to get. Really kind of slightly blue, grey, just a, 
I didn't want all bright sunlight. I wanted it to be really, you know, reflective of the difficult place that I'm in. You know, this is a hard place to reach. Even the guy who um, was, uh, who brought me over on, on, on the boat, he was saying that, you know, this is a really tough place to reach, even for them when they bring people over. Like the boat ride was just so choppy and really bumpy. And there are a few times you think, oh my goodness, are we, are we gonna go over? You know, cause we're basically on an old volcano. This was once, uh, I think it's like a six mile radius um, beneath us is what was once a volcano. And so it's a tough place to reach. And as you get near it, it gets choppier and choppier because of the, um, the rise in the um, ocean floor. But anyway, I'm here and uh, this has been probably one of my toughest photo shoots. For some reason, it's just felt hard and I had to work so hard for every photo but that makes it worthwhile, you know, it makes the shots much more um, rewarding. And uh, I can't wait to get these in my book. And yeah, I'm so happy. Yeah.